Hi everyone, in this video I'll show you how to develop an Android application that can utilize CAN. So in BeagleBone Black, there are two CAN ports available, but for this demonstration I'll be using vCAN, that is virtual CAN. Uh, CAN programming is similar to the uh, any network programming, so uh, we have to use sockets for this programming. I do not have uh, any CAN hardware, so I am using vCAN for this demonstration. Uh, this BBB Android image does not have enabled the CAN module, so uh, CAN kernel modules. So we have to first enable the kernel modules, then only we will be able to utilize the CAN features. So let's first do that. So one second system lib system vendor lib modules kernel Just install the modules. So now that we have installed all the CAN modules, now we are uh, will be able to utilize uh, that feature. So next we have to enable a vCAN for our demonstration. So let's do that. So uh, if we see currently, so there are uh, two interfaces available, network interfaces that are uh, e Ethernet and loopback. Now we will enable the CAN vCAN interface. So let's do that. Now we will be uh, we will be able to see this interface. So you can see that we can has appeared here. Now we have to we can also use the command show to see the interface. So now it is enabled. So we will be now able to utilize this interface. So uh, let me just go through the code of uh, CAN. So this is the code of the CAN. So here you can see that CAN open socket. Uh, as I said earlier that uh, we will be using socket programming for communication in CAM, uh, CAN. We have CAN open raw 
uh, this can open row calls the can open circuit uh, socket then uh, opens the port and uh, socket for communication on can and returns the file descriptor this uh, this file descriptor we utilize for the can read bytes and can send bytes so uh, for can read bytes we uh, take two parameters as input one is file descriptor and another is length so uh, the length number of bytes will be read from the chain uh, from the can interface for send bytes we have the uh, descriptor then we have number of bytes and then we have buffer for storing uh, for uh, the data data buffer that is to be sent so uh, in that way we send the data and can close closes the can port so let me show you the android uh, application so this is the android code this is the interface that i am using uh, this connection string shows the connection of the can interface uh, this is the t uh, added uh, text so uh, in uh, the data in this text will be sent over the can and uh, received data will show the received data uh, there are two classes one is main activity and another is hardware task uh, so that uh, the hardware task uh, can run in another thread and uh, uh, and uh, the application can run smoothly so here you can see that on uh, on click send what happens is uh, the text of edit text is send uh, is send in this function that is send bytes of hardware task here in hardware task we have send bytes so what it does is it calls the can send bytes function and sends the uh, data over can uh, we have enabled this via the prototype of the native function calls then for uh, receiving the data from the can we have this do in background job so it, it is continuously running in a thread uh, it continuously tries to fetch the data if data is available then uh, uh, then it tries to receive the data so if uh, received string is not null send, then it will uh, actually publish that uh, data so publish the process and here you can see that on update it will show it in received data so this is a pretty simple code it just receives the data from the uh, edit text and sends it over can and receives it from the can so uh, let me run this application so I am running this application it is running so let me show you the output once ok for sending and receiving the data over we can I have created a uh, C program so this program sends a data uh, so this data uh, that is sent over we can 0 would be able to ca we will be able to catch that uh, this on our android application so so i have compiled it let's push it adb push test another program that i want to create is for reading the data actually there is a utility called uh, can dump uh, that can be used ok now I am compiling this data
One second. I am compiling this file. Okay, I am pushing this to shell. So I have pushed to C programs. So now let's run our Android application. Okay, and now let me show you. So this is the output of the program that we have made so you can see the interface okay now let me send the data via the cell so I am running this application that is sending that will be sending Beagle so it has sent Beagle and you can see that Beagle has appeared here now what I will be doing is I will be sending the data from the Android application so for that let's uh, uh, let us use the can dump so can dump we can zero so now I am sending a so you can see that ASCII value of a is appeared here if I send anything else let's send a w then you can see that two values has appeared here I have also made a C program so let's see if it can catch it so let's do that so you can see that AW has uh, it has received AW so this is the this was the example of the can program thank you